oh, there wasn't an intro because we've been recording the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Quack House. This is Quack House number 528. I'm Ozan Ocean, and with me is Tance and Baines and Pitface. So we're the whole crew Hello. here. And this week we're chatting about. Oh, I didn't give people the chance to say hello. You could you could say hello now if you like. Sorry. Hello. Hello. And Pitsy already said it. Oh, I'll see that. Yeah, that unresolved. Oh, she already said it. Okay. She did. That's the reason. <laughs> I thought she was doing a social experiment or something. Oh, her Trying end to make, Put us on the edge of our seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she can do social experiments as well. I mean, she has a different specialization, but she can do those if she wants. I am out of my mind, which means I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so this week we're going to be chatting about uh the heights of characters heights heights and shorts i don't know um which is an interesting subject because it's not just about like how high you want to make a character but how high you or how short you want them to appear and how high they are in relation to other characters so it's a it's, a, it's an emotional thing it's also a, a a drawing thing as well there's there's different aspects to it so it's a it's an interesting subject but before we get into that i have to bring up the featured comic quite a is going to tell us about a comic she featured called starlights so Kwai, please tell me tell us about starlights <laughs> Hello, this is Kawaii Daigakuse, and the feature I've selected for this week is Starlights by Kawaii Triangle, and it is rated M for Mature. Imagine converting entire old-school tabletop role-playing game sessions into comic form, including all the dialogue and visuals conjured up between a group of friends, a pile of papers, pencils, and a handful of rolling dice. Starlights does just that in a fictional realm setting where each player jumps scene to scene, having to deal with obstacles they all face. This is a game of chance, imagination, and fantasy. The art is mostly drawn in black and white sketches with excellent splash pages in full color. Dust off velvet bags of D20s and read Starlights by Kawaii Triangle, rated M. And that was the featured comic, Kawaii Gakusei, talking about Starlight, Starbright, and all that. The Baines was uh, serenading us with this beautiful rendition of that uh, song. <laughs> it's funny how every featured comic has a counterpart in some music, <laughs> some 80s song. It's incredible. <laughs> All right. So. They covered a lot of ground in that decade, I guess. Music. Oh, they, they're the Simpsons of um, songs. <laughs> the words. 80s did it first. Exactly. Yeah. They did everything. Even before the, the 30s and the, the 20s. It was the 80s. Um, so uh, we have featured music next. Gumballs has given us a theme to ooh, a comic by Simon. Um, which is uh, si Simon Tro, this <laughs> lovely, lovely fellow who we uh, who we all adore. He's been with the the um, Drunk Duck for years and years and years. Um, a Lebanese uh, man, also living in Canada, which is the uh, Baines's home, and Tars has native uh, land. Yes, has a bit of a relationship with that country as well. Yeah, so. Simon. So his music, <laughs> his music is uh is, well, Gum Wallace's music is based on a, a Simon's comic called Lizard's Sandstorm. Softly pacing, creeping, exploring the haunted vastness of the empty space, abandoned. Wind whistles, distant. Creaking, the soul has left the building, but something dark runs waiting. 
So take it away, Gun Wallace, with Lizus Sandstorm. was the <laughs> music by Gumwallis, uh, his uh, lovely version of Simon Tro's Lizard Sandstorm. So, next up, we're going to talk about heights. Heights. Heights and shorts. Isn't it weird that we say height? And height sort of means tallness. But what we really mean is like any height. Um... I don't know. That always oh, yeah, so, you know how much, how much tallness, <laughs> how much tallness doesn't doesn't presuppose a lot of it or less yeah. of it. Uh, yeah, height for me is neutral. It's just how high. That's a very measured response. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're doing thinking. Yeah. So I, I think we should start off with talking about the heights of our own characters, which, you know, gives us a little bit of a, a, a window into the subject. So since uh, I sure. began it, like I, I always imagine Pinky as being one of these people who is not tall, but who has a tall presence. So she would be like, you know, like 5'3 or 5'2 or something like that. Which is like 156 centimeters, 158, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I imagine her as being fairly short, but having a very tall presence, very imposing presence. So um, characters would always respond to her as if she was a tall person. And even the audience would see her as being a tall person. And Eve, like a lot of, like, uh, the way I would draw her would, you know, maybe she would be short in relation to some other characters, but I would draw her, like, you know, from, like, looking 
upwards at her and that kind of stuff. So uh-huh. you get sort of imposing presences, or you know, maybe she's standing on something. We're looking up. We're looking, yeah, up from below at her. So yeah, she was she's that kind of character. Um, CC would be almost exactly the same as Pinky, or maybe taller. But even though she was taller, she would appear at as the same height because Pinky's presence is such that she sort of uh, equals it. So that's those characters. But for um, say oh. Bottomless Waitress, this is the joint comic that uh, Baines and I do. We really, you know, I I sketched these characters from the beginning, and so we sort of knew how they would be in relation to each other and and it was very important that um that francis polly and jane the three uh, waitresses would all have like um like very distinct personality traits so like francis she's the the blonde um buxom kind of bimbo kind of classic 1950s kind of uh ideal and uh Polly is this long, stretched out kind of person. And then Jane, she's in the middle, which, you know, indicates naturally that Jane's going to, that Polly's going to be tall, Jane's going to be the middle, and she's going to be Mrs. Average, plain Jane, and Francis is going to be short. Baines didn't quite realise how short that I thought that Francis would be. So I'm th- sort of thinking that France is, Francis is quite a compact hourglass kind of lady. So she's you know, like five one, something like that. Um, Baines, how tall did you think that uh, that Francis would be? I literally like never thought of her as that short until I read your post today. Wow! And we've been doing this comic for like almost twenty five years at this point. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and this so actually... that was crazy and neat. Um, I put her about average, like an average, like really? five 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 six, like. Five four maybe somewhere in there, Cause roughly. We, yeah. There's like plenty of drawings of her in relation to all the other, like Jane and, and Polly, and she's quite a bit below them. Yeah, I guess it didn't register. I don't. I don't have it quite this the developed uh, visual sense. Wow. That you do. So I guess I d- just didn't pick up on that. But yeah, I mean, now that you mention it, like when I look back, I'm sure I'll be able to see. It a hundred times where it's like oh, obviously she's she's quite a bit shorter than the people around her that's interesting yeah because i always had this distinct idea that she would be a complex hottie <coughs> um whereas yeah jane is <laughs> jane's the the completely average kind of person like you know, where did you put her i'm not looking at the posts right now about five six you put five, her about seven. five four Five six, five seven. Five four okay. is a bit short for her, I think. So I would go about five seven or five six. I'm I'm not sure. And uh, Polly, really tall, like you know, like um, like almost six feet. Maybe that's too right. big. I don't know. Maybe five ten would be better. No, I like a, almost six feet. I mean, just yeah, why like two, five, eleven. stunt yourself not to um, make a pun. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, just uh, fuck it. Go for six feet. Why With not? the hair, just she's six five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, she probably is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She has big hair. She's one of those ladies, yeah. Um... Yeah, it, it fits her personality to be a long, lanky lady. So she's not, she's tall, but she's not a big kind of broad woman. She's one of these stretched out kind of people. Uh-huh. So she's one of those kind of figures. And like, I really hadn't thought too much about Craig and Wilfred. But Wilfred would be, you know, average tall. And same with Craig, pretty much. Well, maybe I don't know. Like Craig yeah. has to match Jane. That's his thing. Wow, well, right. He's yeah. Mister Average guy. She's Mister. She's Mrs. Average lady. And um, 
it would be cool, I think, for Wilfred to tower over um, Francis. Like, to be a bigger okay. guy. What do you reckon? I, yeah, I'd go along with that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, I don't remember if we discussed the height of the main three. Yeah. I don't recall if we discussed it, but the way you did it, or the way we did it, like, I'm just going to give you the credit, I think, because I think it must have been you, is just right. I mean, that works perfectly. So I had never really thought about the height of the guys. Um, but I thought they'd be probably about average. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so. pretty much. Like, I'm not married to heights for any of them, but, um, yeah. Like, you know, I'm I'm relatively short, so... Um, Anybody who's a bit taller than me, I just don't. It's all a mystery. It's all one height to me. It all like <laughs> fades to yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's no difference between it, so I just like pick them randomly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's those. What about you guys, uh, Baines? I know you wrote down your heights for both. Um, Chatterbox and Typical Strange. Yeah, I did. Typical Strange, I thought about quite a bit when I was first putting it together because it was, I mean, the most important part to me was how they are all relative to each other, really, yeah. the main six characters. So, um, and then, so, like I thought, Oscar would be slightly shorter than the others. Penelope would, and Wade would be a lot taller than everybody else. But the actual numbers have probably varied a bit. And my thinking of the numbers might be not quite the way I draw them. That's definitely possible. But it's the, yeah, like how they compare to each other is the important part. I put, uh, you know, TK and Abigail around the same height. I put them around 5'9", maybe 5'10". I would even go maybe 5'11", possibly. Uh, I, you know, I know some ladies who are Abigail-ish, and they're probably around 5'11". So that I, I kind of look at people I, I know and that I meet, and I'm like, oh, maybe that's like kind of like Abigail. Oh, wow. Um, Oscar and Harley, I would put a little bit shorter, just by a couple inches. Um, the 5'6 to 5'8 neighborhood, I, I vary. A lot of people thought think of Harley as tall. I had that comment like multiple times when I originally did the animation. So it must have been the way I, I did the camera or something. It's where I placed her um, in the shot or something. Um, Wade and Wade, I, I put about six six, although he could be taller from what you were saying earlier off air. Penelope, I put her about six six originally. Now I think she's probably taller just by the way she is in the comic. She might be six eight. She might be more. Yeah, um, she's a monster. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, she's way up there. The and uh, in Chatterbox, up. newer comic. Nikki's bigger, yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, maybe I have to make Penelope taller. Compete. <laughs> uh, Chatterbox, uh, yeah, like Lily is really tall, but not out of the sort of regular range. She's about 6'3", quite tall for a lady. Yeah. Um, statuesque. And uh, CB is little little lady. I don't know exactly how little. I think of her as Wolverine-ish. And Wolverine is like 5'3 in the comics. Yeah. So I put her there, probably a little shorter than that, maybe. Although that's pretty, you know, in a world of tall people, that's like, you know, she's somewhere. Maybe she's just under five feet. Maybe she's just over. I, I love five. how tiny she is, though, because it does accentuate her, like, scrappiness. Yeah, you know? I love that, too. Like, yeah. when you say she's like Wolverine, I almost more think of, like, the animal Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> exactly. She's small, yeah. but she'll tear your face off, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's a little ferocious, uh, violent thing. Yeah. Is that funny? Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, now that I think about it, you know, maybe I, I think of Nikki as being too tall. But I just had this idea of this woman being, like, quite, quite womanly, but also, like... Um, like a very muscular kind of imposing kind of character it's very larger than life but yeah so maybe almost seven feet is too tall maybe i'll just go down to six six or something so <laughs> how tall is hulk hogan you talked about meeting him or not meeting him but seeing him up close i'm not sure i don't actually know i wonder i'll look it up 
Probably a lot shorter. How about uh, than I thought he was. How about you you guys? Like what about your characters? Okay. Chance, fine. You got <laughs> <a pit. laughs> I I will have to convert from uh, like from centimeters to feet because feet only mean feet to me, like not height. But um Okay, so I have a, a cheat code, I guess, because uh, the kids are all growing, so they will not stay the height that they are. And and at the age that they are, they sort of um, they grow over a month or over weeks, so it's not really like yeah, they they are going to be taller. Than what right. they are now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, like, especially if Otis is going through a growth spurt, I don't think it's shown yet because mainly I forget about it, but um, he is. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, for the adults, I would say like Basil is on the. Okay, before I say heights, 1940s Greeks were very short people. Um, so what is considered tall, was considered tall at the time, is normally like average today. Uh, mm. Because, you know, uh, we we grew better when we could be better, <laughs> I guess. So anyway, uh, so yeah, at the time, Men would be like around the uh, wait a second, I'll tell you in a moment, like uh, 175 centimeters, which is like five feet seven. Five eight, inches, I guess. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, Basil is a little bit uh, higher than this, and he is, um, come on, and he is. A hundred, a hundred and eighty centimeters, which means five feet nine. So he is on the tall side. He he is a tall man for mm. his era. Right. And, um, yeah. And and then uh, Martha. Okay, ladies were even shorter. <laughs> uh, so she she would be. She is around uh, with seven. Sorry, I, I just have to make the conversion. Um, she is 160 centimeters, which is five feet two. So okay. yeah. she, she, she was, at the time, she is considered average, like not short. Uh, now she would be short. <laughs> so side by side, right. like Basil Me. was pretty tall and then she was pretty tiny. That would have been, I'd like to see them kind of side by side. That'd be cute. Yeah, I, I do have a couple of panels where he's hugging her and they are standing there. They're not sitting in chairs because he's lost. Uh, but, um, <laughs> and and I, I, I'm not sure it shows, but she sort of uh, him as, he, as she hugs him. So he sort of can wrap around here yeah we don't talk about that much anymore so uh yeah she's a tiny it's not tiny she's not considered tiny she's considered tiny by today's standards mm. uh yeah average and, then but he was tall <laughs> yeah but he was uh, and he was considered tall tall at at the time now he would be average because greeks somehow have managed to be over 185 centimeters, which is like six feet. So, yeah. Um, the fun difference height that I cannot show off very often is between the two German uh, HQ commanders. And um, the top guy, Eichel, is very short for the era. So he is, I will. Just make the conversion quick. Uh, he is 162 centimeters, which is five feet three. 
and his supporting net, Bom, is very tall. So he is 190 centimeters, which is six feet two. And uh, yeah, so they both have a conflict about that because um, uh, I feel he hates being short and having to look up to his supporting net. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he really doesn't like that. And um, uh, Bomb feels that he has to somehow manage to look up to his superior uh, in order not to get stunned. But he can't because he is so, he's so tall. And he also feels that he is a very handsome man. Uh, you know, getting all the ladies. He's a ladies' man and uh, stuff. So he also doesn't want to look up to the short guy. So there is that. And I really like that. But I don't have many occasions where they stand next to each other because I have uh, really avoided it. He hates having to stand next to his abortion. So I don't have many occasions for that. Um, who else? Uh, 40s right now would be, I guess, uh, 155. So he's a uh, five feet, five feet tall. Oh, really? Oh. I thought he would be yeah. taller. No, Me too. Mm -mm. but he will be taller. He will be taller soonish. <laughs> so he's not completely grown yet. Yeah, spare. and he also does. And he also doesn't get enough food as he should. So, but now but that he's in in the highlands, he will get better food, and he will. Grow. What so. about in your other comic, Rare Resistance? You got Nikos. He's a very mm -hmm. tiny man. A huge yes. presence. And Hunter is a yeah. giant man with a small presence. Cool. Love well, that kind of thing. I don't have real numbers, but um, I would estimate uh, whatever, however tall Hunter is, is like subtract, I don't know, uh, 20 centimeters. So subtract uh, like uh, 66 six inches at least. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a short man for the standards of the era, which is a lot. So... I would say he would be like a uh, hundred sixty centimeters, five feet. I'd and imagine. Hunter, I think he um, uh, Hunter is taller, but I don't think he is huge because then I mean he's still got to fit in that plane and stuff. But I think mm -hmm. you know that compared to a lot of the other characters that he's around, especially um, he does look larger and he is larger but he's you know um and and that's i think when it, when it comes to characters they it's not so much having specific numbers in mind it's more how do they rank compared mm. to the other characters relative. around them yeah relative yeah, yeah. Hmm, that's so interesting well, yeah I, I imagine the hunter to be about you know Five foot ten, six foot two, between those kind of in that range. I'd say, I would say probably closer to like five foot ten, five foot eleven, maybe. Yeah, I don't think he's past six foot, but I think he's approaching it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, that fits. Well, he would have had a lot better nutrition than the the Greek people as well, sort mm -hmm. of living in the country and. Um, Living in a wealthy and country, he, but also he, in the country. Sorry, yeah, he, and he also built the uh, built strong, I guess. Uh, whereas uh, Nikos is really, he's not a. Also, he doesn't like to exercise, so that doesn't work in his favor. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also that, and he's wiry and skinny and stuff. So, like, basically, like. A, uh, Nikos is a bad guy, really. Yeah, he is. And then Sakis is somewhere in the middle. It's kind of like how you, how your three main characters in Bottomless Waitress, yeah. 
kind of line up although the although the personalities would be reversed yeah because the person with the strongest personality for you guys is the tall amazonian chick um <laughs> whereas for us it's, it's little <laughs> napoleon complex nico <laughs> that's great <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a dominant dominant character it's interesting the reasons why characters have these personalities too like so like i was saying i think in the the audio cast in the video that um often the big people sort of grow up wanting to shrink down to fit in with everybody else and they feel like freaks and so they want to um they want to be less imposing and they want to f you know just fit in so to them, they have just a, a habit of not appearing so tall. And so they don't appear as big as they are because they don't want to, um, uh, like, stand out. They don't want to create a scene, which is, is quite interesting. And, these... and Which is something that, that Hunter has to hide yeah. while he's hiding from the Nazis. Exactly. You know, that's part of the thing mm -hmm. is uh, he has to not be noticed. And the thing is, if any Nazi or anybody in, at all sees him on the street, they're going to know he's not native Greek, not just yeah. because he's a giant Indian guy, but well, because he's <laughs> tall in the, in the first place, his stature is very different. So yeah, he just kind of naturally sticks out. Yeah. It, it, it's actually, ironically, the, like his complexion and the, uh, like a native American, face, I would like features and stuff, wouldn't really stand out as much in the village uh, for many reasons that I could explain for other, you know, in other casts, but his his height and his broad-shouldered build are a problem. Uh, mm. Which they have to live with because he cannot stay cooped up forever for many reasons as well, so yeah. 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 I think isn't one of the very first things that Nico says when he finds him is a, he's a behemoth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say. I think he, like, the first thing he says, like. Uh, I was going to say, from, from the other perspective, the smaller people have to learn to have, often have to learn to have a very dominant personality in order to like um uh to interact with these with these bigger people in order to like um you know get people to to do what they need to do so they have to project themselves a lot more so that's why they often appear bigger because they've they've learned that they had to it's not that they have a napoleon complex or anything like this it's yeah. in order to compete on the same level They've had to project themselves a lot more just to be mm -hmm. able to do that. That's why smaller dogs and things like that are quite, you know, forceful in their behavior. It's not because oh. they they want to, like, they have, they, they're trying to think, you know, oh, I'm, I, I have to dominate to, to, um, as, as a way of like counteracting my smallness. It's like they, they physically have to behave like that in order to you know to um to take control or in order to yeah to just not to be get on the stepped on or to make sure other dogs yeah. don't start eating their food or that exactly. kind of thing which makes yeah. them appear uh, yeah sorry go on. no uh, um because being a very short guy uh it was a problem for him in the sense that um socially he was he was he was considered like a, a short, like not fully grown as a man, I, I would guess. Like, I, I'm not sure exactly how to say it. But for example, when he, I have uh, written like his backstory in a short story that uh, exists. But um, not only his, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, anyway, there is this thing where he wants to go and propose to a certain character that is also in the in the cast of Brave Resistance and uh, before the war. 
And, uh, and she also wants him. She has no problem with heights, but her mom does. <laughs> it's like, you're not going to, to marry the short guy <laughs> and look over the short guy as you're standing at the altar. Um, so uh, that, that actually was a real thing. It, it, and it sounds funny right now, but um, it did present uh, like a self-esteem issues for many guys. Um, so yeah, Nikos overcompensates by dominating as many tall people as he can <laughs> through his uh, That's skin. really cool. That's very interesting. Yeah, I love that. You still hear people uh, talk about that a lot, like online and stuff like that. It's a huge thing, like the height thing, and you know, shorter guys or taller women, or people yeah. who struggle a little more with, you know, yeah, it's, matching it's up and all that it, stuff. It matters a lot more to some people than it does to others. Like, yeah, from my perspective, yeah. I just height something I notice after the fact normally i just see everybody as one height but that's something that it takes me a long time to notice the difference between heights but for other people they are like constantly comparing themselves to other people and um it's very very important to them which is i remember there was this one guy that i dated for a long time and like for a guy, he's shorter. He, he, we were about the same age or the same height, um, but uh, but that means so I'm pretty average for a girl in America. I'm about um, five foot six, but uh, for a guy, that's kind of short. Um, so he didn't like it when I wore high heels around him. That were too tall because it made me a bit taller than him yeah. and i think that cool. he was about a bit self-conscious about his height um not that i was I'd wearing high heels all the time but um <laughs> he liked them and then sometimes he didn't like them but uh yeah uh, just little things like that um kind of come out little insecurities and stuff yeah right i remember um my ex uh from last year she was a reasonably tall girl you know maybe like five seven something like that um she used to wear the most gigantic high heels like super super like eight inch kind of heels and i loved that i thought that was fantastic i used to call it my giraffe so um, <laughs> that was a pretty cool kind of aspect <laughs> Oh, yeah. that would have been cute, you guys. I, yeah, I, it's something cute. I like about the whole shorter, taller thing. I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I am like the computer here. The the calculator is telling me that I am five feet two. Like that makes a um, hundred fifty eight centimeters. So that All right, yeah. that makes me on the short side or short depending on who is uh, estimating uh, over here in case or for a guy that would be considered short i honestly don't care mm. <laughs> I, I don't care at all. <laughs> and, and and ironically i never did that school people i remember that um, i was the shortest school Consistently throughout my school career, I was the shortest girl in the class. For some reason, nobody was shorter than me, and I never really noticed them until some teacher told me that I couldn't do something because I was the shortest in the class. And I was like, "Why? Why can't I?" Do um, I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was uh, like um, playing for the basketball team. Uh, or something like that. Anyway, so that was the first time I noticed height as a social thing. Oh. Yeah. For about a week, then I reverted to not caring. It's not so. fair, though. I mean, yeah. it's, it's 
<laughs> kids in school playing basketball maybe she should quit being so tall and get off her high horse um, there you oh. go nice <laughs> so that my, you know, I really like I, I, I had one good quality in basketball in that I could steal the ball really well yeah um, but I was defenses and stuff and yeah I, I was terrible at shooting the ball but that was my like I couldn't do that. I had to pass the ball to someone else. To See, that. this is it's funny you bring this up because it's actually how me and my best friend at the time worked. Um, because we were in basketball in middle school, and I wasn't super tall, but like I said, I'm about average, you know. Um, but my friend though, uh, she's always been a bit short, and uh, she was really into basketball. I think I just joined for one semester or for one year just because of her, you know, but um, she was really good at like stealing the ball and like, you know, zipping in and out. And I couldn't do any of that, but I always would make the shots. Um, and so we, that's how we try to work. She would steal the ball. And then uh, um, the coach sometimes would be like, get it to Deidre, get it to Deidre. And so we kind of work together that way. Mm-hmm. So see, yeah, well, I'm sure for basketball. There you go. Please. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I didn't last long in the team because I again uh, the evaluation that we got uh, was who could shoot, who, who could make the shots, no matter what. Like we didn't have a good coach. It was a rotten guy with issues, I guess. Um, so yeah, I was off the team despite being able to steal the ball very well. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Of my career. So you're basically walking through people's legs and they can't see. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it was so. It, 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 when you dribble the ball, if you see the rhythm, you can really just shove your hand in there and take the ball. And, and that's what I did. So. <laughs> well, you're um, an inch taller than Francis. So there mm. you go. <laughs> You're looking down. An inch shorter than Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, fun story. When I went to get my ID, my my official ID issued when I was 18, and the, the cop asked me my height, and I told him, you know, 158. He said, You are not 158. I said, No, I, I promise you, I am 158. And he refused to put that in. And now my ID says that I am 160, which huh. means, which huh. means I, I, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> um, just a little higher, I guess. It's, um, I guess, five feet three. For Roughly. some reason, there is a difference anyway. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm taller than I am in, in reality. <laughs> <laughs> so your ID. Says we all know it's just a fake ID. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you have a, a McLovin ID. Um, sorry for that reference. If anyone's in super bad, you'll know what I mean. McLovin. <laughs> um. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm about what, 166, uh, 5.5 kind of area. So, cool. yeah. Shortish. And Baines is, of course, like, uh, like 6 foot 11, I think. Isn't that right, Baines, on the last measurement? And a half, but I, I lie. <laughs> <laughs> I add a couple feet. You add, add well, we didn't talk feet. about uh, Pit Face's. Uh, yeah, add a couple of feet. Yeah, Pit Face's characters. Yes, how tall is Bones? <laughs> yeah, Bones um, and Let's so, Off. And... <laughs> um, you know, the more I've been sitting here thinking about it, the more I've realized there's not a whole lot of diversity with height in my characters. Um, but so, like, Bones is pretty average, um, and so is Exus, but. Exus is slightly taller than Bones. And I remember 
consciously making that decision. I don't remember if I actually remembered to implement it in the comic book, but um, uh, Exus is slightly taller than Bones because uh, Exus is just more powerful than Bones. He's he's more put together. He's and that's not me saying that tall people are, you know, the best people, but. Like that's kind. That was kind of my little way of saying that um, Bones doesn't really totally stack up to Axis in a lot of ways. Although he does defeat him in the end. Um, so yeah. So Bones is pretty average. Um, Blitzoff is taller. Uh, Blitzoff. He's not a giant either. Um, but I'd say he's probably around maybe around six foot, maybe even six foot one. So yeah, pretty tall, he and Blastov. Um, that would have been my guess. Just, look at, yeah. just looking at them, yeah, they just seem, they just come across that way kind of. For yeah. yeah. Um, and he's also very inlo- elongated. So I think that even if he was shorter, he would still seem quite tall. Because um, he, he's got that long black hair and that long kind of elongated face and the long limbs and stuff like that. Reminds um, me of um, Danzig, who's a fellow who you, yeah. you look at him and you think, God, this man is imposing. He's big, but he's really quite small, which is uh, shocking. Yeah, Danzig's a, a tiny little pit bull. Uh, Blitzoff is like an elongated Danzig, basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, he, they left him out on the stretching rack too long. But, um, and then Helmut. He, well, he's a kid right now, so he's pretty short anyway. But thinking back on this, if I was thinking about height more, I think I would have made him a little bit taller than Gildan. Gildan would have been shorter, and Blitz or um, Blitz off. Helmut would have been a bit taller. Um, when Helmut's grown up, I think he might be a touch tall. But again, like his features are are going to be not super elongated, not so much like Blitzov, but like um, his his cheeks are slightly sunken, and then on top of it, he he's going to lose his nose. <laughs> um, so oh. it's going to kind of add to his face. He, spoiler alert, you're going to find this out pretty soon. But he ends up catching he ends up catching leprosy um, before the story really gets going. So it's, wow. uh, yeah, so um, he's not very super strong, but he's, he's, he's kind of, he's lean strong, I think. Um, and he, you know, he ends up getting this um, magical girl transformation into a, a bondage s and type suit. So he's got, a, <laughs> he's got a little good bit, right? So he's got a little bit of muscle. Um, <laughs> but he, he's also very average. Um, oh, but... Uh, his boss, Dolores, who is one of these kind of dream beings who you'll meet, um, she's kind of the manager of who kind of hires him as this exterminator. And uh, she and people like her are extremely tall, and they can range from super, like, giant big to... Um, Bane, you're making a lot of noise, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, she <me>. can... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Dolores, um, even at her shortest, she is, like, she has to struggle to, like, fit in through doorways and stuff like that. She's huge. Oh. So, um, yeah, so she's going to be really, really, really big. Um, yeah, and then I'll play with some more sizes. There's, I, I want to talk about other characters that I haven't even introduced yet, but, um, yeah, so I don't know. Loris yeah, is... I, I haven't played around with it too much. Hmm? Loris is the Nikki and, uh, um, Penelope kind of character. So we've all got these <laughs> giant characters. Interesting. Yeah. It's fun Behemoths. to play with the big character. For some mm, reason. I'm looking forward to it. Well, there was a um, one of the Resident Evil games 
that's coming out, I think. I don't know enough about it. But the only reason I became aware of it was because there's this character named Lady Demetrius Koo, something mm. like that. It's a real weird name. But uh, there was like a lot of... Huh? Dimitrescu. Yeah, you've heard yeah, of her. It's a Romanian yes. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because people, you know, were getting all up into the whole, you know, tall step on me, tall lady thing. So, uh, um, and that's actually what made me think, like, uh, I'm going to take Dolores and make her just an absolute giant. I think they were saying at one point that Dimitrescu is, like, over nine feet tall or something. Yeah, she's a tall lady. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah Even. so there's a, a fetish market out there if you all want to join me in creating um unusually large characters <laughs> unusually <laughs> large yes well we already have so you're joining us <laughs> yes yeah. that's true that's true uh, we'll have to have yeah all the tall characters meet at some stage Sounds like uh, Dolores is going to be bigger than um, any of them yet. Yeah, I'm not sure how big. I think they're because she's like in the realm of like magical beings, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm not sure what her limit is, how big she could get. But I don't know. I'll just see when I when I feel she's gone too far, then I'll just mark it off there. But I think she can get larger than probably. Uh, at least four stories tall, I think. Wow. Yeah. How tall is a story? Like 12? Three pages. Um, <laughs> that was so stupid. Sorry. Uh, don't laugh at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you it, was, it, was, it was quick enough that it gets full points. Thank you very much. <laughs> um... Well, like a story is like a, um, a floor of a house, right? So, floor of a house, so like fifteen feet or something like that. Yeah. Twelve, fifteen, something. Yeah, oh, around. It depends. Oh. Okay, so like sixty foot, fifty foot cheerleader, sixty foot cheerleader. Yeah. She a big old bitty. Big old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and she's literally held with boss, so. Yeah, yeah. She could try, although. They they could uh well I was thinking of Polly but I was gonna say I don't know maybe then Polly's Napoleon syndrome would kick in and to make up for her lack of comparative height she would use her big personality to bring yeah. Dolores with her hair alone yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nikki could probably beat anybody up anyway oh yeah definitely cause... hands down. <laughs> Exactly. She's just that kind of character. She's just, she's uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger is, is a real man, and obviously he's not really uh, like that strong and powerful. But his character in eighties movies was such that it was larger than life, and he could beat up anybody. And that's what Nikki is. Nikki is basically Arnold Schwarzenegger's movie character. She's Conan. She can I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Aw, I wish that one day she would win the heart of sweet Francis. <laughs> or no, of um Francis is right. Good? You were right. Oh it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. I always get them wrong, so I automatically second guess myself now. Oh, same <laughs> with me. I get my characters wrong too. I get our characters wrong. I don't think she's uh, destined to win Francis, but she's gotta get some kind of uh hmm. happy yeah. Eight, I think somehow. Yeah. I don't know. She's the one that I'm least sure of out of anybody, probably of the major characters. What wild if, card, huh? Yeah, kind of. I mean, like all I know is she's probably gonna. I mean, almost certainly not gonna win Francis. It's just not gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. work out that way sometimes. You know, yeah. it, it doesn't mean you, the the person who comes and punches the bad guys and saves the day doesn't always have to get the girl in the end sometimes thank you can suffice yes, yes. exactly it's a good she lesson <laughs> yeah it's true there'll be a lady for, for Nikki out there 
Maybe. So all I have to do, all we have to do is create one, I guess. I have She'll this... be nine feet. <laughs> I have this vision of some sort of attractive motorcycle riding lady. That's uh, oh, that she right. meets while you know trucking because they're two yeah. people. She'd be on the super road. different from the very super feminine Francis. Could be. Could be. Could be. Maybe yeah. almost like a femme fatale to like contrast with. Well, not like a femme fatale as like a Bond girl, but like, you know, like very street smart and quick and sharp if she needs to be to kind of contrast with Nikki kind of, of makes me think of was just like a almost like a good old boy trucker. Just like just one of the dudes, you know, like right. not, she doesn't have any like hard edges. I don't think she just, you know, is she's tough when she needs to be, but she's also very relatable and down to earth. It seems to me. That's so exactly kind of a cool contrast. Like, Marshmallow inside, kind of. Yeah, amiable, nice person. Yeah, the kind of yeah. lady who would yeah. listen to audio books while she's driving. <laughs> oh, I love her so. I don't know why, but uh, you guys just have endeared her. She's a very endearing character, is what she is. Great big. It's like a great Dane, if you know great Danes. They're very um, mm. gentle dogs who. Um, yeah. A very kind of kind and dopey, and yeah, so that's that's her kind of outlook. Whereas, yeah, good old Polly is a is a bit more acerbic. Which yeah, yeah, fiery redhead. <laughs> <laughs> with with a bouffant so big she could take down the seven forty seven in mid flight. Exactly. <laughs> well, she's based on mostly on Peg Bundy from um, Married with Children mm. in a lot of ways. Yeah. And that, sure. I don't know how tall Great. Katie Seagal is. Yeah. yeah, she's tall lady. I don't know how tall. I assume she Probably got to be. But she had yeah. big hair and she always had huge heels and everything in that TV show. So she looked very tall next to um, Al. I can't remember who played that character. So yeah, she yeah. was quite imposing and dominant. Which um, that's uh, that's that's uh, Polly. She's a imposing, dominant person. That's, uh... It's interesting how they'll have to obscure like height. I was just reading some trivia last night about Back to the Future, the series, and it has these like scenes of exposition, at least in the first two movies, where Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox have these like conversations these exposition scenes and they're like, they're really funny the way they're staged. Like they're kind of running in opposite directions. Like Doc will go running up the road and Marty runs towards the camera right. and then he, Marty turns around to follow Doc and Doc runs back the other way. <laughs> and I always thought it was like really clever and a funny way to do exposition. But it turns out that among other tricks, that was a staging trick because of the great difference in their height. Like, Oh. Christopher Reed is like six one, and Michael J. Fox is like five four or something. Oh, like so to put them in in the frame together, you had to do these tricks. Yeah. And I guess Christopher Lloyd would have to stand like hunched over. A lot of his character stuff was based on that need to yeah, he's sort a... of obscure the the height difference and stuff. Kind of very neat. tall man, whereas um, Michael J. Fox was always a very small fellow, but with a big personality and a lot of. Like smaller actors have that big presence, like uh, Tom Cruise, of course, famously. He has a very like right. dominating presence, and he's not not a tall man. People make fun of it, but I don't think he's as short as um like you know people say. Oh, he's tiny, he's the miniature, but he's like you know five seven or something. So he's not really that that miniature, but um. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty. Stallone cool. too, short, uh, apparently. What's that? Or shorter than his character. Stallone is like pretty short, I think, compared to mm. what he's supposed to be. I remember <laughs> hearing big... that too. Yeah, that people are surprised about how short Stallone is. Yeah, well, he has a he has a big presence because he's a, his physicality makes him look quite big. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is about 6'2". Some people say, oh, he's 6'1", 6'2". It doesn't really fucking matter, like one inch, whatever. 
And they show pictures of him, like with um, from Conan the Destroyer, when he was with uh, Andre the Giant, who is a legitimate giant, was and uh, Wilt Chamberlain, I think, he was the other big tall actor in that oh, one. Oh yeah, I forgot Andre. The, is Andre the Giant in that movie? I yeah. don't even remember that. He played uh, Dagon, wow. the, um, the demon, who's a statue, and he turns into a, a, a Cthulhu and kind kind of demon. Um, so Wilt Chamberlain's also in there, who's a gigantic um, basketball player, player. Yeah. huge man, yeah. and they're both sort of like carrying Schwarzenegger between them in these these photos, these all these photos of them, and it look makes Schwarzenegger look like a like a, a, a midget, makes him look like a dwarf kind of man, <laughs> but he really is like six <laughs> two, like he's not a small guy. It's just like in relation yeah. to these oh, hyper men okay. that he, he appears small. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Tanya brought up a good point earlier. I'll just say this really quick too that stature really matters too. How somebody carries themselves, you know, like they're walking hunched over, they're going to seem a lot smaller. Um, and you know, whereas if they're walking, you know, straight back, shoulders back, they're going to seem a lot taller. And I think that especially comes out in comics and stuff like that because um, that kind of uh, perceiving a character like that is at the forefront of when you read a comic, you know, and looking yeah. at that character and kind of um, ciphering who they are and what kind of char characteristics they have, you know, even the ones you can't quite see. I think we, we do that uh, subconsciously whenever we look at a character. And one of the things that that probably happens with is height. And so how you make their their stature, how they how they stand and how they present themselves is also really going to feed into that um, that notion. Yeah, on top of like where you put your camera, so to speak, in, in yeah. the comic. And yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, that's that's really neat. Yeah, or whether like Pinky, they're always standing on top of something, you know, platforms or um, <laughs> yeah. Levels. Oh, she is, isn't she? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's putting Very yourself commanding. above exactly yeah it helps well so we mm -hmm. um we've talked interestingly along the subject and uh, we'll give a link to um the the forum post about this where people can contribute themselves hopefully and uh and also pitt's uh, interview which is a it's a cool thing pitt was interviewed by a surgery head and it's on uh, youtube so we're gonna um have a link to that which, uh, it's a really cool interview. Yeah. People should, uh, should Yay. give it a, a listen. All right. Uh, thanks for... Hey, that's the long and the short of it then? Hey? Hmm? Yes, that is the long oh, and the short what? of it. That is the... Uh, no. The whole nine yards, Baines. All right. Well, Perfect. thank you very much for listening to Crackcast number 528. I've been as an ocean, and uh, we've had uh, Tance and Pitt and Bates. Yeah. Goodbye, people. Oh. Bye. Bye, con Dios. <laughs>